Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 everyone. So we stopped the bomb in the last episode, or rather um, young Victus stopped the bomb for us. One of the couplings wouldn't come undone and he sacrificed himself to prevent the bomb going off and ruining relations between the Cheerians and the Krogan and, and throwing their, the whole potential alliance into, into, into doubt. Or just getting rid of it entirely. So, um, yeah, very sad for him, but as is kind of with Turian tradition uh, and values, even their customs, uh, the, he'll be remembered uh, and that kind of thing is kind of revered and respected in their culture. And uh, so it's it's not as morose as it might otherwise might be, say, in human culture. The Turians kind of expect that of their soldiers, uh, they pride themselves on that aspect of themselves. So uh, we're going to try and do the rest of the quests that are in the Krogan DMZ besides the priority mission. Uh, but before we do that, you guys told me that there is actually some um, passive dialogue between Mordin and Eve in the medbay. So I'm just going to go and try and trigger that. Going, I'm just going to try and trigger that. I think because I've just been going to talk to him straight away. It doesn't trigger Doctor, that quickly. I'd like to hear the song. Uh -oh. Again? Trying to calculate amino acid decay rate. You said you would once the tests were done. <sighs> oh, better to die to a thresher maw with shotgun blasting roaring raw than to play ambassadorial games with the blood of Shiagar in her veins. Off to fight since Turians can't, with diplomats instead of a crant, but she'll be true to Duchanka's dream and live and die a Krogan queen. For... She is the Krogan Queen, hurrah, hurrah for the Krogan Queen. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be the Krogan, Krogan Queen. Queen. <laughs> Still prefer patent song. <laughs> of course. I really had to twist your arm. About but unlikely friendship, right? I'm sure there might be more. I'll just uh I'll just bugger off for a second float back in. Guys. No? Okay, maybe after the next... Uh, I'll check again after the next mission at least. Alright, alright. So we're going to go back to Tchanka to try and deal with Cerberus. I'm taking Liara because I'm going to take Liara and uh, James, I think. Go and investigate the Cerberus attack. Okay, so Liara was so indispensable in that last fight. Um, I can't really remember what she was like against husks. I can't remember, but she she was so useful in that last fight. Uh, and I said I was going to take James because he's not been out much lately. Um, just I'm just going to cycle through Liara's gear again. Because um, we really want the power damage, don't we? Oh no, I've, I've been using the recharge speed. No, we want the recharge speed for sure. Uh, that one's quite nice. And that one is. I don't like her base set, or I don't like that battle gear. That like kind of looks like a stormtrooper, right? I actually really like this one. Anyway. And it has the power recharge speed, which I think is so vital with her. So, yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to need to mess with James's loadout because I've not used him for a while. Okay, so we've got the Raptor and the Tempest. Um, I think the mods on this, yeah, like the, this is level 3 now. Now we could go for this increased damage again. But I think it's a fairly minimal damage increase and we benefit from the weight reduction. So. I'm happy with that. Alright Jimbo, um, 
We'll try you with something else. I've not upgraded what he might use though, have I? Matox, oh, he's only level four. Okay, we'll stick with the Matok, but he's likely going to be using his shotgun anyway, which is also only level 4, but it's high damage. This is what we want. Okay, uh, we've got the extra damage. Uh, the pierce. Okay, so we'll go for damage. Uh, I'm going to forego this for the pierce. Is. That should be pretty useful for the shield bearers. Better accuracy and weapon stability. Uh, have we got a damage? No. So, ac stability? Let's go pierce again. I think that's probably best. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I know it's only four, but it's only one off max, right? We're saving up to max out Overload with Amanita. For Dear Liara, we've got six points, so... Um, man, Singularity has been so useful, and this we've got a buff for it, right? So I think we probably spend these points on Singularity even though we could max out. Oh, I see, we could just be spamming this if we get these, right? Every two seconds. But um, a little extra damage, I think, would be potentially really useful, right? The recharge speed, I mean, come on, it's, it's what, two two tenths of a second I think the I think the detonate would actually be really useful here because this regularly snares multiple people so I think we take the damage uh, for Liara there the singularity is just way too good then we got a lot of points here and I've spread myself a bit too thin um, Okay, this would be good. The melee damage would be really good. And the shield recharge delay would be good as well. But I think extra power damage is pretty good, man. Yeah. So he uses fortification. Yeah, to give himself an armor, armor protection. And then this just does a ton of damage. Squad mate health and shields by 20%. No, I think we just go all out for him. Yep, I'm happy with that. Shepard Services landing forces away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground to space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan rebellions. Ground to space. Has no obvious military advantage, and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get mm. in there and stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. See to it. Hack it out. Looks like Cerberus got that cannon operation. What? Sorry, I just wanted to reread. Okay, uh, Cerberus has taken control of an old military installation on Tachanka for unknown reasons. Land on Tachanka and neutralize whatever operation Cerberus has in the area. Let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill them in their way. All right, Hamez, you've got the Eviscerator, sure, and the Tempest on the Ara. I'm happy with that. We're going to get ambushed pretty immediately here, I think. Okay, 
Lieutenant. On it. I don't know where they all are. Oh no you don't Mr. Engineer. Time to test this cannon. Nice. Uh, really secure? Feels like there should be some more people here. Yeah, there's going to be loads more fighting here. Is this another multiplayer arena thing? Maybe. It feels it's really big. Yeah, this must be another multiplayer arena, man. Feels way too big, doesn't it? For the amount of enemies that will be here. Here we got some gear. Aramax. Armax, sorry. XP, might regret doing that. Old grid schematics. Not the kind of Krogan relic I expected to find. I think that's uh, a side quest, probably. Oh god. Bill, help us out.
Where's this engineer? Oh, the turret! This engineer, he was setting up the turret while I was uh, trying to locate him. Damn it, man. You need to get the power back on. Let's move! This isn't a good start. Where'd that nemesis go? Already dead. Still. It's moving. Bill. The exact match. We're cutting your course, Commander. I've rerouted the power to the main console. Heading back now. To me, to me.
freeze. Oh, that's a grenade! Oh. We did all right there, personally. Cannon control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Good work, everyone. Sorry, I thought we were supposed to look outside. <laughs> Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy is pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. All right, thanks, hackers. Oh, this is the crucible. Okay, so this is the cannon. Uh, the Krogan First Division is a conglomeration of infantry and vehicles hastily organized into a single coalition force. The chain of command is divided by clan, with representatives from each serving as officers. Despite ancient differences, fighting the Reapers together is building a spirit, a spirit of com camaraderie, camaraderie, uh, camaraderie among the division's warriors. Krogan from different clans are starting to swap equipment, stories, and even the occasional barrel of Rincol. Awesome. We're all united so far. Yes, Commander. That's all. Of course, Commander. Okay, I just, uh, we're going we're to have to check the crew, aren't we, before we go out on our next venture. Need something, Shepard? No. Anytime. Nice to have the big man back, right? So it's tough to because our war assets are going up so slowly. I mean, I imagine. Buddy got discharged. Category six after Eden Prime. At six? Damn. Well, if I'd been on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it too. He fought it. Said he was still fit for duty. Last thing he told me was that he was joining Cerberus. Wow. Commander. Okay, nothing new. Maybe it's only like major missions that might reset everything. Everyone's in their like usual spot. But we'll check in with them anyway. It'll only take five minutes if they've got nothing to say, right? And then we'll go and get this thing for Balavon. Commander. Maximum dynamic pressure is approaching. Throttle down for minimal resistance. Thanks, Mom. If that is how you categorize me, I will tell you to stop slouching. Hello, Shepard. <laughs> yeah, that's why that's why I uh, that's why I play standing up. <laughs> I just remember one of my first ever videos 
and I washed it back and the slouching was just awful. And it you know it means I can move around a bit while I'm playing. Uh, there's nothing wrong with sitting at a desk, but when you but when you're recording a game like you know I'm staying within the middle of the camera, I'm staying next to the microphone, I'm generally not moving it a lot, so um, like that kind of sitting isn't good for you. Whereas at least if I'm stood here, I'm I, I'm, I can move my feet around quite a bit, um, and it's just a bit easier. Uh, oh, got turned around that. I won't make you salute every time, buddy. Certainly possible. Would require strengthening exercises. Get muscles to support weaker bone structure. Right. Yeah, I can do that. Alloy of Edie's body not flexible like organic tissue could cause unintentional damage. Recommend pillows, cushions, possibly gel packs. Okay, that's a little weirder, but yeah, all right, cushions. Positioning critical to success. Can forward Edie charts, videos with relevant data. No, 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 let's, let's, uh, uh, Edie's pretty busy with, you know, stuff. Let's, let's <laughs> send, uh, just send that to me. Uh, you're not gonna tell anyone about this, right? Like, like, Shepard? Shepard doesn't really need to know. Ah, guarantee Shepard won't learn about it from me. She, she's standing right there, isn't she? <laughs> I wish I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Poor Joker. Hey, but, hey man. I did say in the first, in the second game, sorry, when Edie, when we first met Edie, I wonder if she was going to be the hidden squad mate, and if she was even romanceable. It would be interesting if there was a synthetic romance option for a shepherd, right? But I know we can live vicariously through Joker, I suppose, just in terms of the theoreticals of it, right? Not right now. Okay. Okay, so major missions probably the only thing that updates stuff. Or at least until you've done another priority mission. Right? Your service. Cliff! Mame. Feel free to look around. Oh I shall. Now let's not talk to the journalist. Hello. How do you see with only two eyes? Evolution has taken a strange turn in this cycle. Oh, why don't you go and get some help from the Batarians then? Your Joker pilot insists I call myself Prothe the Prothean. I insisted he allow me to throw him out the airlock. Yeah, he can be a bit like that. Commander. Prothy. <laughs> Wish you could have seen that gun on Tachanka firsthand. I cut the auditory emulators and watched that server's cruiser gracefully and silently disintegrate. Beautiful. Sometimes I worry about you, man. Ready when you need me. Yeah, sorry, I kind of missed that. Hey. Good talk. Alright, let's go and do Balafon's mission. Oh. I did pick up some new armor, right? Uh, gaunt gauntlets, yeah? Can we summon Liara here whenever we want now? <laughs> Yeah, Armax. That's like all damage and headshot damage. They look nice. I do kind of want to try just for the looks of this. It's kind of cool, right? But. I do love this power armor. The extra power damage. I want power recharge. Power recharge is uh, Rosenkopf, isn't it? We need some more Rosenkopf stuff. Oh, 
I'll do for now. Can't believe that that fish feeder thing is 25k. <laughs> 25k, dude. Okay, so uh, Balavon, that's in the, the other star system in this cluster, which is the Drenic system. And then we've got this Cerberus Abductions mission in Benning, so that's two birds with one stone because we've got um, the other Benning quest. We need this evidence, so I imagine we'll pick that up while we're there because we know that he's dead. We heard those soldiers talking about how he sacrificed himself to let them escape. Um, Maybe we could tell him that, I don't know. But. Right. I imagine that this uh, Balavon thing is just a scan. But I could be wrong. We won't be dealing with the shroud just yet. I will scan here on the way out. Well, I don't know. I don't know if we should bring them towards our priority mission, so... Now we've got Nith as well. Hmm. We can refuel in uh, Aralak. I imagine I've read these ones already, but... Rothler. Yeah, I remember this. Didn't they... Didn't the Krogan used to, like... Didn't they destroy the place or something? Yeah, I'll just reread it just to refresh my own memory. Once Rothler was a large ice dwarf with the statistics listed below. In the waning years of the Krogan rebellions, it was shattered into, feel, into a field of debris by what is assumed to be the test of an exotic weapon system. In the wake of the event, the planetoid was reduced to a relatively contained field of thousands of tiny moonlets rotating around one another, colliding and ricocheting. The method used to destroy the planetoid has never been deduced. The Krogan clan who performed the experiment apparently all died in the event. Ships that have travelled to the edge of the event's light cone observed a moment of extreme gravitational lensing around Rothler immediately before its breakup, but no other clues. A popular extranet meme put forward by Asari author Delce Orthesa insists that the Turians are covering up the existence of a Krogan superbiotic breed that was genetically engineered within Rothler. The CDEM enforces quarantine around the Rothler field, citing cases of amateur investigators whose ships came to grief in the debris field. Wow, or maybe it was some sort of black hole device, I don't know. Biotics though, that's interesting. Yeah, I, rem I, I do remember that from the last game. Yeah, so it's gone, yeah. I'm not going to read all these because we read these in the second game, like 100%, I remember Dranek. Right, sorry, sorry, sorry. I found something. This is what Balavon wants. Oh. oh. I figured it'd be here. Dude, come on. This is this is what Balavon wants, I imagine. Shadow Broker Wet Squad. Reapers eluded. Hmm. Is that what we need? Oh, forces. That's right. So we've got the beautiful. Now we'll just check out this system. My mem. Oh god, yeah. Tula. I don't remember this system. Tula's 
methane ammonia atmosphere traps the blistering heat of Nith, driving dayside temperatures up over 1000 degrees. While some loads of useful metals are present, the planet's incredible heat makes mining impractical. Mantun. The Class B Blue Giant Nith was once the most strategically valuable system within Krogan territory. Though far too hot for habitable planets, Nith emits thousands of times the energy of a main sequence star like Earth's Sol. With help from Solarian uplift teams, the Krogan constructed a chain of solar power collector stations in orbit around Nith. These vast arrays beamed power to particle accelerators on the surface of Mantun, which manufactured anti-proton fuel for warship thrusters. In the Krogan rebellions, the Spectre agents managed to get a virus into the computers of the solar power arrays, every fifth array suddenly applied braking thrusters. The arrays behind them piled up and all were reduced to wreckage. This has since dispersed into a relatively stable ring system. The Krogan never had the resources to rebuild the solar, ar solar arrays, depriving them of their fleet's main fuel supply for the remainder of the war. The particle accelerators still exist on Mantun, but have not yet, not, but have not been used in thousands of years. Signal confirmed. This is going to be difficult to navigate because it's so bloody bright. Oh, there is another planet. Crap. Let's read Vard. Vard is a methane ammonia ice giant. Until the Krogan rebellions, it had a sizable helium-3 refining infrastructure. Once the solar arrays orbiting Nith were destroyed, the constant flow of anti-proton tankers visiting the system disappeared. There was little point to maintaining the facilities, so they were shut down and abandoned. Today, the ancient stations are squatted by transients, criminals, and outcasts. Although few are safe for habitation, neither the Krogan nor the Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission Patrols care if they take their chances. Oh, I've got 100%. Light jump successful. You. Right, uh, I'm not going to do any scanning in Aralak because we're going to need to come back here. It might not affect this place, but I'd rather not risk it. Okay, we need to decide where we're going next. Okay, I'd, I'd like to get this uh, Benning quest done next while we're on good time so then we get two quests done before and then one of them we need to head back to the citadel with so uh benning crap did it say oh here it is uh the arcturus stream I take it Benning's... Oh, wait. Is this it? That's Arcturus Station. Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. Land on Benning and provide protection while the civilians are evacuated. This is a multiplayer-style mission. Okay, I guess we'll head there first. To uh, Eula. Arcturus Station is pretty infamous, and we've not been to this cluster before, so I will read all the planet descriptions. Might be in the next episode, though. Okay, uh, Benning, the nearest garden world to Arcturus Station, is the primary source of its food supply and an important staging area for starship maintenance and repair. Occupying the planet would be the key in any attempt to retake the system's relay. Yeah, we've heard so much about Arcturus Station. Didn't uh, Joker grow up on Arcturus Station? or something along those lines, or train there or something. Scattered intelligence indicates that during the battles of Arcturus and Earth, the Reapers sent a small force to Benning to destroy its convoys, spaceports and starships. With the population immobilized and communications cut, 
The main force concentrated on the larger prize, knowing they could return before repairs could be made or help could arrive. Heat sources in Benning's space indicate a non-reaper presence here. Population 2.25 million. Their pre-invasion estimate. Capital is Joggin. Joggin? Yeah, Joggin. Right, I'm going to take the same squad, so... Liara, Jimbo... I forgot to upgrade his shotgun. <laughs> oh, I did level up. Uh, yeah, let's uh, bump up overload. Yeah, increase damage to barriers and shields. That's what I'm taking. We'll save up points for the rest of it. We'll save up points for you, and we need fives to upgrade this. I know you sh you're probably going to tell me incendiary ammo is probably a good idea, but I'll need to respec him before I do that. Shepard, server strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigations suggest that the people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Unknown. We sent a recon team to investigate and the Cerberus squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, Cerberus is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. Hmm. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Pack it out. Why would Cerberus be denying anything? As if they're still a respectable public company at this point. Building an avalanche of civilian SOS requests, Commander. The bulk are concentrated on the upper street. Cerberus forces are pinning them down. You better hurry. On my way. Keep me updated. Yeah, so they've all got the ammo now. Right, oh god, this place is huge. I don't know how thoroughly to explore. Been rumbled. No, no, no. An idiot. Stay away from the aura. Hold on. There might be some gear here. And this place is too big for me to... Oh, 
But I can't miss the, miss out on this Benning evidence, so I'm just gonna double back. Dog tag. Did we get that? That's what we need, right? Sorry, civilians. <laughs> yeah, that must be it. That was kind of unceremonious, but you guys saw that, right? I think that's everything. Careful, Nemo, if you you can read this, stay away from the taxi stand. That place is crawling with Cerberus soldiers. Ellie. Oh, that's not what I meant. Stupid smoke. You guys all right? We're going to die. Reinforcements are here. Try to stay calm. What? What should we do? Just stay down. Commander, more service troops are heading your way. If you can hold the line there, it'll give the civilians time to escape. You heard it. We hold here. Still here. Go, James. I'm on Get you in your grenade. Who's still here? Oh, no, you don't, buddy. Oh, nice. I'm 
dead. Oh! I moved forward too quick. Oh, you bastards. Try to that was calm. really long. What? what should we do? Just stay down. Commander, more service ships are heading your way. If you can hold the line there, it'll give us a period of time to escape. Hold here. Hold here. I was just going for that, for those supplies. We're going to die here. No, you're not. Sorry. Hey! Where's that turret? Dodge roll that. Oh, it's you! Okay, that's not cover. Oh, hello. Okay, this is a really bad place to be.
What do we do? Hostiles detected in the immediate area, Commander. Reinforcements are moving in to secure the evac route. Okay. Good work, everyone. I'll pick you up at the LZ, Commander. That was nails, dude. Nails. That was fun, though. I'm finding the combat like way more fun in this than I did in two and three. I know I'm dying a lot, but I don't mind that as long as you guys don't mind that. But it's really fun. Uh, I think it's mostly due to the map design. Like you do have to relocate quite, at least on this map especially, you have to relocate quite frequently. Um, you know, you get flanked, pincered. Um, really interesting. I imagine these maps were designed from a multiplayer perspective, which is why they probably feel a bit better in that sense. Because yeah, they're they're less scripted in a way, or they've made they've been made with a dual purpose. That's the PDA. We've already looked at that. Okay, I'm just gonna double check where we found that dog tag. In case I didn't really pick it up. Where was it? It was like. Yeah, over here. That's quite obscure. Alright, let's get out of here. Steve O. Let's go, good work. That was a lot of fun, man. We didn't get any shield guys either. It was purely the map that was messing with me because I was I was moving around too much. We're getting reports of continuing strikes against other cities on Benning. Oh. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual MO. Yeah, it is. By the way, the civilians down there have a chance now. We're solidifying a foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. All right, Amanita. Well done. Okay, so we've got the Benning evidence. We've got his dog tags. Uh, Irune. Where was... Where's Irune? So DLC, we've got this, we've got this. We've got this, we just need to find someone who it belongs to. So that's on the Citadel. This is DLC, we're not going to do yet. Um, this is the Citadel. I can't remember if we got these already. I think we might have got this. And I don't think we've got this yet. Oh, okay, we're looking pretty good. Um, we've got some new... And we've got the Shadow Broker Wet Squad. As the new Shadow Broker, the Arid Sony, has the loyalty of her predecessor's assassination squad. A small but lethal team of soldiers called on for the rare occasion when information isn't enough to silence a the target. Their methods vary with each mission, from subtle poisonings to bombing entire buildings. The wet squad is dedicated to whatever range of destruction the new broker requires. Dr. Tassoni has put them to work against the Reapers and against Cerberus. Alliance, the Arcturus First Division, is a volunteer army of civilians, paramilitary forces and reserve soldiers who have banded together to stop the Reaper occupation on the, of the planet of Benning. To avoid detection by Reaper forces, its members operate in cells, never staying in one place too long. A handful of Alliance officers are coordinating the 1st Division, sharing intel and sending supplies to the resistance soldiers. A few Alliance squadrons have been spared to support Benning's makeshift army with trained soldiers. Fabulous! Okay. Alright, um, I think I'm just going to end the episode there, guys. We're right on the hour mark. 
Uh, so we'll read the rest of the planets in this cluster. I'll have a little look around the map, see if we can get to Irun. Uh, obviously check in with the rest of the squad uh, before leaving and then we'll head back to the Citadel to, to finish off all these quests, check in on on Thane, on Ashley. Uh, we've got an, an interaction with Liara that I'd, uh, is it Liara or where Liara is? One of you said to go to the bar, to the, the, the barista at the coffee shop uh, for some reason, but the, the place where Liara is sat. Uh, Ball of Honor and all that stuff, so we'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave me a like if you did, and just remember, everyone, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you next time.